Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, I just missed being able to feature this story in the last episode of And Now the Good News, and I have been waiting all week to talk to you about it. Researchers have found the first direct evidence of cosmic inflation, the exponential expansion of the universe in the moment following the Big Bang. This evidence was discovered by BICEP-2, an instrument being used to study the cosmic microwave background radiation, or CMB, as part of a project that involves over a dozen institutions from all over the world, including the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, which announced these incredible findings. So what are the findings, specifically? Here's what the evidence for cosmic inflation looks like. BICEP-2 detected these swirl patterns, which represent a specific type of polarization called B-modes in the CMB. These patterns were created by gravity waves, which rippled through space-time in the moments following the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago. B-modes like these are predicted by cosmological inflation theory. They are one of the things we would expect to find if the inflation model is accurate. The implications for cosmology and astrophysics, as well as our understanding of the ultimate origin of the universe, and by extension ourselves, are profound. How the hell do I follow that? <laughs> I don't know that I can, really. But I'm going to try by telling you about a newly discovered dinosaur that paleontologists are nicknaming the Chicken from Hell. This is an artist's reconstruction of the hell chicken, which is actually called Anzu Wileyi, or simply Anzu. It stood five feet tall at the hip, was over 11 feet long from nose to tail, and, as you can see, had feathers and a toothless beak like modern birds. It lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 66 million years ago. The paper describing the discovery of Anzu was published last week in the journal PLOS One. Three fossilized Anzu skeletons were found in North and South Dakota in rocks that are part of the Hell Creek Formation, renowned as one of the most abundant sources of fossil specimens in the world. Finally, scientists from three prestigious institutions have combined efforts to invent a new optical switching device that could set the stage for the future of computer technology. The new device, developed by researchers at Vanderbilt University, the University of Alabama Birmingham, and Los Alamos National Laboratory, employs switches that are almost inconceivably tiny, about one five hundredth the width of a human hair and it's fast, capable of switching on and off trillions of times per second. It's made of a metamaterial that incorporates nanoparticles of vanadium dioxide, a crystalline solid capable of rapidly switching back and forth from an opaque to a transparent state. How much faster is this new vanadium dioxide switch? Approximately 1,000 times faster than the optical switches currently being manufactured. This invention holds the promise to usher in the next generation of computers and telecommunications. The first direct evidence of cosmic inflation is found. Paleontologists announce the discovery of a new dinosaur nicknamed the Chicken from Hell, and scientists invent a new optical switch that could trigger a technological revolution. That's the good news. How about that? You're all done.